Hard to beat the Gulf of Mexico here in Galveston. It is beautiful, but oh my, so warm. I mean, just oppressive heat. I'm gonna make my way from uh, the beach down there up these rocks and uh, the seawall behind me that they put to, out there in 1900 after that huge hurricane that killed thousands. The deadliest uh, natural disaster in American history still. Um, trying to make my way up here to the Fox Weather Beast to get out of this heat, get in some air, and on my way to one of the most visited cities in America, the Riverwalk, the Alamo, an incredible place with great food, culture, and people, San Antonio. Let's go, let's get it rolling. Weather Beast, take me there. So I have to admit, I have a food weakness, and that is the Waffle House. I have to stop. If you're on a road trip, you gotta hit it. Here's my recommendation, and it's not on the menu. A Fiesta omelet with hash browns, scattered, chunked, smothered, the whole deal. A side of sausage patties, toast, dry, no butter, coffee, Diet Coke. Let's go get it. So now I feel terrible, but it was so good. I love you, Waffle House. Just outside of San Antonio, Texas, and I'm pulling into a Bucky's, and what do I see? A group of young men pushing a vehicle because they ran out of gas. I feel bad for them. It is literally 105 degrees, and that's without the heat index. If I thought Galveston was hot, well, welcome to the outskirts of San Antonio, Texas, at the Bucky's Cathedral of rest stops, emporium of craziness, beef jerky, beef sandwiches, uh, you name it. Oh my God, where do you see this place? And by the way, it's so hot that I had to pull out my uh, Indiana Jones hat to protect me because when I was eating at Waffle House, the uh, guy in the griddle asked me if I had been out in the sun. Yeah, I've been out in the sun. Texas Roundup brisket, turkey, sausage, pulled pork, Hot dogs, chicken tenders, uh, sandwiches, fruit. Uh, they literally have everything here. Look at this. They are cutting the brisket behind here. You can grab sandwiches all over here. Uh, it is mayhem in here. People trying to get outside, or inside rather, away from this ridiculous heat. And, uh, oh, uh, oh wow. Uh, how about some uh, cast iron? Uh, or perhaps a uh, silver bull's head? Uh, something on the lines of that. Yeah, uh, this place is wild, and uh, well, welcome to Texas, right outside of San Antonio, almost to San Antonio, where I'll see the Alamo and the River Walk. Back to the beast. Finally arrived in San Antonio, Texas. I love this town. Look at how unique it is uh, with the streets here. It's just very... Uh, unlike any other city in America, and it's one of the most visited cities. And look at this, the Alamo. 1835 is when that standoff happened between the Texians that were uh, occupying this uh, old mission and the Mexican army uh, then surrendered. Uh, and it was in December that that happened. I have to imagine it was a little cooler than it is right now, baking about 106 degrees here right now. And the 14 day forecast on the Fox weather app Oof, only one day below 100 and it's 99 degrees. They already had an incredibly warm summer last year. I visited here covering the drought uh, up and down Texas and into Oklahoma. And they certainly hope that they get some reprieve here because it doesn't look like, like there's any rain uh, at all in the forecast. We may be looking at uh, farmers going through a lot of what they went through last year again. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna hit the river walk. It is awesome uh, down there man-made, gorgeous, dotted by hotels and restaurants. I think I'm gonna go check out some of the food 
options here uh, for sure and try to brave this oppressive heat as so many people, over 90 million across the country right now, going through it. And uh, I'll see you on the next stop. I'm Robert Ray in San Antonio, Fox Weather.